It's time for the Gizwiz with Mads Mattis writer, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1782, recorded Thursday, June 4th, 2020. It's an itsy bitsy teeny weeny yoga mat. On this episode of the Gizwiz, Dickie D buys three bargain gadgets, two of them pretty good. One is the worst. I have a new crappy corner theme. And your videos all next on the Gizwiz. It's the Salem Show with Dickie D and OMG Chat on your PC. It's time for the Gizwiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease, under pathology, rows and rows of USBs, growing blue LEDs. Get ready for the Gizwiz now. 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 Um, and, oh gosh, I, I, I haven't been thinking. Uh, now, here he is, Dickie D, the guy you like. <laughs> How you doing, Dickie D? <laughs> I'm doing good. What is your shirt? Is that a symbolic something? Yeah, so this is um, a charity that uh, I helped out with a while back, Game Changer Charity. And so it's kind of like a power symbol, but also in the shape of a heart. Oh, very good. Oh, very t-shirt. nice. T-shirt very I nice. got for charity. Perfect. Uh, so we are both in quarantine. We are both mm-hmm. under curfew, right? My curfew is uh, in 29 minutes. It's 7.30 in New York. It's 7.31. What, what, what time does your curfew begin? Um, so we have a curfew, but it's really only downtown. Dallas is just so big. Oh. In fact... I remember seeing on the news the other day that different areas kind of have different curfews. So this like one protest, just like right before the curfew started, they all just moved to like an area that was (laughs) outside of the zone. Um, And I forget the time and I'm, I don't live close to the, uh, to the area. So. Oko, you can roam out even (laughs) after 11. Yeah, probably. I don't think that I have, uh, any any curfew, yeah. So, ex- oh, there's an expanded curfew, which happened. Let me see when is this? The second, so two days ago, um, and that's 7 p.m. So that's in like what? yeah, 20 minutes. That's early. Holy yeah. cow! Yeah. Yep. Well, no, I don't know. It, it it seems like this world is winding down. <laughs> Monday. Well, first of all. Monday, we go into phase one in New York City and the mayor, I heard him and I thought, is this man, is, what is the poor transit authority? He said 400,000 people will be eligible to go back to work Monday, which is a, a small number because uh, the transit authority in the old normal days handles a little more than 8 million people a day. Yeah. He said, so I've told the transit authority, I want boxes on all the stations and all the subway cars so that people are six feet apart. And I want every other seat on the subway car blocked. Oh. <laughs> How? Do you know, you know, subways, they run like every five minutes. To yeah. Run rush out. It's thousand. Uh, yeah. I have, I have no idea how that's going to be humanly possible. Yeah. Anyway. Also, and like, if what happens, goes, well, like, if it feels like with transit specifically, there's peak times and there's non-peak times. It seems like during the non-peak times, it's overkill. And probably during the peak times, it's under, like, it, you need to do something more. Yes. Fortunately, some businesses have started staggered hours yeah. to help alleviate that. But who knows what it's going to be like. And then if it all goes well for a month... Then New York City can go into phase two in July, which will be some restaurants can open. And (laughs) if you have an outdoor space, you can start using the sidewalk to serve people. You can set up tables on the sidewalk. Huh. Um, Yeah. It's going to be interesting. Yeah. Yeah. This week has been so depressing. Like it has just been. It's so hard 
of a week and I I have kind of just stayed off the internet like I haven't streamed I haven't really uploaded I was on all about Android um but other than that like I've just been kind of like taking time to just think it's been it's been a depressing week yeah sure. no I stayed off a couple of days um one of my uh, one of my hard drives, I was trying to save something. It said hard drive full, erase some files. And I started going through it. And then I suddenly was like a time warp, finding old mad pictures <laughs> of Bill Gaines and the mad group. So that turned into be a, actually a fun time. And I posted a few online. Dennis tends to sleep. <laughs> he tends to sleep a lot. Yeah. So that's, that's his escape is, yeah. uh, is sleep. Uh, I know it's ridiculous. Yeah. Also, do you know about this is a totally different subject? Did you get the thing? You send a lot of things through the post office. Do you know about premium tracking? I maybe. This maybe? to me is the most bizarre thing. Premium tracking. It says the package you sent. Uh, you can you can tr have the tracking uh, up until September sixteenth, twenty twenty, which is covered when you bought the postage. But you can extend it. For up to 10 years for $10. <laughs> Why? Huh? Why would you ever want to know per the state of Yeah. You, uh, you can add six months for $2. You can add a year it for $2. It seems like this is a thing for an account. Not like a packet. Like oh, mate. <laughs> yeah. But they said you have Maybe. to buy for every separate package. That's weird. That's uh, it's very, very weird. weird. It's very weird. Now, now, one thing that I have been using that a lot of people may not know of is that the post office has an op an option to scan the front of your mail and like email you what you're getting. Have you seen this? I this yes. I saw them talk about it at CES like two years ago. Yes, and I thought it was just very interesting, um, and so I went ahead and did that. It, now I basically ignore every email, but, um, yeah, we had, we had it here in the city and maybe it got to be too much for them because it suddenly disappeared. Um, yeah. So, okay. I'm, I'm looking at the same thing you are USPS premium tracking, the basics, the option to tracking service to extend the length of the time you can access the tracking history for a domestic package. The only thing I can think of. It's yeah, like, why would you want it for 10 years? I don't, like, maybe you run a business where the fact that a package got delivered helps oh. the, li the liability of the company? I don't know. Like, why would you need to know that it got delivered Yeah. for that long? Also, just like, if that's really that crucial, take a screenshot before it goes away. <laughs> Like, yeah, oh, that's a very that's a great idea. Yes, because once once you see this package was delivered on such and such, yeah, and, and rarely as screwed up as the post office is, if the package that I mailed recently I have tracking up till the end of September, uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to be there before the end of September. Hmm. It's it's weird. <laughs> it's weird. Captain Jay um, says, I ordered you guys something for your 10-year anniversary, and I paid the post office extra to deliver it in 10 years. Oh, mate. Well, okay. Well, okay. Well, I hope you've got the extra tracking. <laughs> yeah. So you'll know. That is weird. All right. Well, for you, it's worth it. I don't understand. It. it does seem like this page that's describing it really does need the why. <laughs> yes, exactly. And it's per piece. Why? Yes, it's per piece. I can understand, like you said, if you're a company, then it should be like $1,000 a year and they'll track everything for three years. I don't know. That's why we're not in the mail business. Nope. Nope, nope. Um, um, that's an interesting one. I guess let's jump into some... Let's yeah. jump in. Okay, so uh, with no uh, press events, um, I thought I would buy three things online at three different deal places and see what I got. One of them was on Amazon and I was shocked. Here you go. 
Okay, in a minute I'm going to show you a package that when it was handed to me, I knew instantly I had been ripped off. Okay, but first, let's go to the computer. Okay, there's a company called Brad Deals, Brad's Deals. And I don't think they sell anything there, but they give you coupon codes uh, to buy things. So they had a coupon code to get 40 bucks off this yoga mat, okay? Heavy duty, high density foam, strong structure, uh, used for men, women, gym, high intensity workout, healthy, lose weight yoga. Okay, so I bought two. And this is when I knew I'd get ripped off. <laughs> when I saw yoga rug. The yoga I rug. Figured, uh -huh. You know what? I'm not going to take it out <laughs> until we put it on video. That so is too I thin. Expected, first of all, my yoga rug weighs... Hang on a second. My yoga rug... See, this is, this is my current yoga rug. But this isn't heavy duty. So I figured, oh, whoa, heavy duty. So my new yoga rug weighs uh, 5.3 ounces. That's for two of them, right? <laughs> no, that's it for one. Oh, okay. My other one came today. So get ready. So I'm, I'm, I'm really set. Good. Get ready. I, I, you know, this is still on Amazon. I, I have never seen anything as a bigger ripoff as this. <laughs> it's a yoga rug for your hand. Oh my god. This is my yoga mat. <laughs> Look at that. What is this? A yoga mat for ants? And Oh god. And that's the carry handle. Well, you know, maybe maybe I'm speaking out of turn here. Let me see. Uh well, I don't want to ruin the mat. You know, it's brand new. So I could, I could, uh -huh. I could stand on it, basically. Uh, what, a sun salutation, I could do this part, and then I guess I could go back. <laughs> it, does, it looks like it's made for a Wii balance worship. board. That's true, Nick. Uh, I mean, this is really ridiculous. Uh, yeah, it's thick. I guess it is that thick. But... I don't even think that photo can be this. Uh, anyway, it was 10 bucks. All right, so something has changed since I bought it. Even though it's still up on Amazon, now they've added a warning. Okay, you oh. purchased this on May 18th. Now it has, this seller has a warning from fake spot guard, but they don't take it down. Interesting. Um, so anyway, <laughs> be aware that, well, I have another one coming, so. Uh, <coughs> we'll see. Um, it's, a, it's, we'll a, see. A, it's a nice placemat, and the only thing I can think of that it's going to be useful for is a kneeling pad. You know, like down at the boat when you trying to change an oil filter or something. You want to kneel on something. Uh, but I, I am just really shocked that, if anything, I thought it was going to be like thinner than I thought. I guess it is almost as thick as the picture, except for a yoga workout, I expect... It's for kids. Some, yeah. <laughs> for small people. For Tom Thumb. They should advertise this as the Tom Thumb Yoga Mat. Uh, that's it. So, did you get any reviews? Oh, yeah. Three reviews, one star, mainly because you can't uh, give it zero stars. That's it. If it sounds too good to be true, I should know that. It probably is. It definitely is. That is, so the other one came same size.
Yes, I yes, I opened it tonight. It's the same size. And, you know, go, go, go back to the ad for a minute because uh, there was a thing. So I think, I wonder if that warning you saw was some type of extension because I don't know if I've ever seen. Yes, and, and the funny thing is, Chad, it only comes up sometimes. See, like you're not getting it, right? Yeah. I, I wonder if that's... Oh, you know what? It's very funny. They figured, this jerk bought it. So now let's put the warning up because it's too late. Because I would you, still you complain can, you, to Amazon to say this is false. And I think they're pretty good at returning your money back. Okay. Um, well, I mean, for ten fifty, it was uh, 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 it's worth the laughs. Yeah. But <laughs> yeah. It, it is... But you got two. That was 20 bucks, $21. <laughs> I, I would still That's complain, a hundred percent. That's true. Um, That's true. Hey, uh, it's, I wonder who knows if you were to measure, is it actually twenty-five centimeters? <laughs> I don't know. What does twenty-five centimeters equal in inches? Chat room. I have no idea. That, yeah. that would see. I wonder if if you had done. <laughs> the, but Chad, that looks like it says the size of the straps. Oh, you're right. You're right. That's you're that. Right. That's what's confusing. You're, Straps. You are right. They don't give the thing of the pad. So yeah, 25 centimeters is apparently 10 inches. So that's true. And then the 60 centimeters is probably... So it's probably correct right here. But still, that image would have you believe that it was a normal... Yoga mat. Yoga mat. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. You kid not Notice, do that I, I now I, I now that you look at the pictures, you think, oh, you never see a person on it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but still, I mean, there's no way you could. That's not what. That's your mat is too thick and too small to pull off that photo. Oh, that Dave said my mat is twenty three and a half inches. Yeah. 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 It, uh, <laughs> yeah, and, 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 and uh, I'm really shocked that your kid. warning has not come up. I I am almost I have never seen a warning like that. I think you had some type of Chrome extension or something. Oh, that is wait like a minute! An extra la layer of protection. Yes, I think I have a fake spot. Oh, you know, can you go back into the video for a minute? Is it? Uh, can Here you scan through that? Uh, um. Yes, I. It is a. It is an extension. Uh, uh, Loke uh, said, "Yeah, I think it's an extension." Uh, da, 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 da. Let's go in. Bam, bam. There it is. There it is. There it is. Right there. Come on, YouTube. You can do yep. it. There it goes. Yeah, fake spot. Oh, guard. okay. I have space. I have fake spot guard. Oh, well, so, hey. So four <laughs> four people on Amazon. Yeah. Also, install fake spot guard. <laughs> it's like it's working. Yeah. Well, I, I guess I didn't have it. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe they said, "Oh my God, look at what this guy just bought." Send them. Or maybe it was that ad. still going through the system by the time you know, when you were buying it. Yes. Yeah. Um, so, if it's too good to be true, it probably is. Also goes for Amazon, which yeah. I was a little bit shocked at. Um, anyway, on to something that I think is worth the money. And here it is. All right. So what the heck is it? A uh, very high-tech wallet. Carry strap. Uh, all right. So it is your LD, LED emergency flare system. And spotlight. All right. It's actually, this is pretty neat. Uh, so, if, wow. If you want to use it as a light, you can do that. And, wow, that is bright. Okay. And then it goes into, it can be a flasher. Uh -huh. And there are lots of different flashing modes, quickies. And this is kind of good. You know, if you break down, you could put one of these behind the car. That'll really get some attention. And you can have do that. And just all of them. 
I'm not quite sure why they have so many. And it's then, a disco ornament. <laughs> it's a disco <laughs> ornament. This would be great to wear at a disco. Um, oh, and then low beam. So I, I guess if you if it's going to be there all night, you'd put it on low uh, to get twice the battery life out of it. And this one, I have no idea why. It just lights one quarter of it. Oh, that is really bright. Uh, actually... The sort of one thing I like about the, uh, the the system is when you push it on, it does what you're going to do. And then when you push it all the way down, it shuts off. So in other words, if you have the white light on, you don't have to go through all nine modes to get it off. So do it, do a real quick press and it will go off. And then you can go through all the various modes. And the other great thing is it's magnetic. Okay, so if you're working on the back of your car, just walk to the door with me. Um, this building has all steel doors, and so that's really uh, great. So if you're working on your car, let me go back to white. Whoa, if you're working on your car. <laughs> are cars metal anymore, or they're all fiberglass? Uh, never having owned the car, but you could stick this under the hood if your hood is metal and have it shine down and it would be a, a, a real help very inexpensive you get two let me just shut that off before i burn the camera up you get two it's another one of those deal of the day things but as of uh, early june it was still up there two for ten bucks Okay, the two-pack emergency flare magnetic safety light, 10 modes. I do believe they are mistaken. I believe I counted nine modes. And I'm just going to say, <laughs> one of them is off. up to a mile away, and it comes with batteries. Okay, six white LEDs, 12 red LEDs. Oh, I see. So it's nine red patterns and one white pattern. And, oh, I'm sorry, I guess I put batteries in it. Uh, it needs three AA batteries, not uh, three AAA batteries not included. A couple of other features is a carry strap in the back. The battery compartment has a screw open cover. And I believe there's a gasket here to make it water resistant. But I didn't realize this at first. There's also a built-in hook. So if you're in a tent and you want to light the entire tent, or anywhere working. You want an overhead light. And what's also neat, let me just go into a flashing mode here. You can use the hook as a stand. So if you want this behind the car and you want it to be more noticeable, just unfold the hook and you now have a standing electronic flare. So I'm all set. Now all I have to do is hope for an emergency. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Yeah, most, to answer your car question, most cars are still steel or iron or whatever. Oh, they are? Oh, okay. Yeah, there's a few that are have some, like, the, my Model 3 has a lot more aluminum in it than other cars, but still most, a lot of parts are, are oh, magnetic. Oh, I thought your Tesla was going to be, like, all carbon or something. Nah, no, that's not, it's too, they haven't figured that out yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, <laughs> million-dollar cars are carbon, but... Oh, carbon okay. fiber, but okay. yeah. Um, um, and then the only cars that I know of that were mostly like fiberglass plastic were like Saturns, and they don't make them that way anymore. And Saturn doesn't exist. Um, oh, okay, okay. And, and Thunderbirds, uh, are they make those still? No, no. Oh, okay. What, what's the hot car of... That's I mean, still, you still got like Corvette, you know. Oh, a Corvette like, is one I'm thinking You about. know, but or like a Dodge Charger or something like that would be more of like Corvettes, a, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Bleak said his hood is aluminum, so. See, well, you can yeah. use the hook. Yeah. Um, uh, since aluminum is not magnetic. Yeah. But uh, the, the plastic car of the Saturn, actually people, I have seen multiple like car enthusiasts be like, it was the best thing ever. Car would never really? dent. Yeah, it was great. He would be like, love, love that plastic car. It was great. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's like, oh, okay. Um, well, if yeah. you had a big 3D printer. <laughs> I, I swear I saw at, CD, at, at uh, CES a 3D printed car, which I could oh, totally. Oh, yes. I, yes. I re, yes, there was one. Yeah. Yeah. 
Totally. Yeah. Well, that's um, pretty cool. I really like the, um, I do that. too. And I checked at 725 just when you and I started talking and it's still up there. Yeah. Um, and, and you know, I think there is $7 shipping or something. Um, I think they, anything over $25, they ship free, but I, I thought this was uh, pretty neat. Yeah, and, I like it. I, I like that you get two because if you were in a situation where you're using it instead of a flare, it'd be good to have a little bit of like a, hey, a little bit in the road, a little bit more in the road, and then yes. here I am off on the yeah. side. Yeah, with so. the two of them, you could put one behind the car and then use the other one uh, As a light with too, the yeah. bright LED if you wanted to be changing a tire or something. Yep. Do, do people t still change tires or are tires <laughs> solid yep. rubber now? There are a few type of tires that are called run flat tires, but those are not standard. In fact, my Tesla doesn't even have a spare. And I was told when I bought it that most cars don't have spares anymore. You just expect roadside service to be able to oh. tow you from one spot to another or fix it or whatever. So, oh. That's well, I, I thought with a Tesla, they just drove up in a new one and said, oh, sorry for the trouble. Here, take this one. Exactly. But, a little 3D printer comes out of the side and <laughs> makes a new tire. Um, so, yeah. Uh, a lot of people anyway, are saying so, that they don't think that most cars don't come with spares. But, uh, but uh, anyway, so that's that. Okay. Okay. Um, all right. So here's even, here's another fun gadget. You may not have a use for it, but it's very, very inexpensive. So what is this for hmm. uh, 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 uh. a bottle opener all right it's called oh snap oh is it <laughs> and what it is is a camera rotator oh, no. okay and uh so basically you put your camera in it actually you wind it up first so there are no batteries all right and strangely you turn it counterclockwise until you hear a, a click. Click, like right. that. Now it's loaded. Then you put your camera in it. In the back is a little camera adjustment. So you push that until the camera is locked in. And you can put your camera in this way or horizontally. Uh, now, the company says you can use tablets as long as they go in horizontally because if you stand them up, the unit will fall over because it doesn't have enough weight to counteract that. And then basically, you just push this button and it runs for about, oh, 50 seconds and you get, I'll show you what it, how it works. You'll get a 270 degree view. And what's nice about this is you can use it for panoramic photos. But what I did is I brought it outside and I set it down in the middle of the uh, train layout. So now that the trains are sort of running, uh, I thought that would make a good demo of what this can do. So let's take a look at that video now. That is very smooth. Here comes the work train. <laughs> the work train decided to go backwards. Yeah. All right, so that's pretty neat, isn't it? So they, they, uh, this was originally $12.50, okay, which I thought was not bad for the price. Evidently, you can do better at Pulse TV. Three bucks. Oh, wait a minute. Whoa. Two for four bucks. Oh, my gosh. Holy cow. I like so that a lot. So if you have any desire, oh, this is early June. And this is, uh, what is it, June, almost June 3rd, and it's still up there. Um, $2.99 for one, or for another buck, 
another 99 cents, you get two of them. Okay, it's called O oh Snap. And this is what the box looks like, okay? It's the O oh Snap Scene Spin Rotates 270 Degrees. You no, know, I don't know. I should have a compass out there. <laughs> Seeing more like 268 degrees to me. Uh, uh, uh. I could stand on one and gently turn it. Uh, anyway, I think uh, if you do a lot of panoramic scenes and uh, you might have a shaky hand, this is an easy way to do it. Scene spin and dirt cheap. That's it. And bye. <laughs> I like that, and what a good price! Holy moly! I know it's pretty decent, Three isn't it? Box that should be at yeah. five below. Holy moly! Oh, it should be. Yes, yes. And I, yeah. I sent you a link to their video. They just—if uh, you start on 18 seconds, you can just see uh, a couple of their uh, panoramic shots. Uh, there you go. Yeah. So that's if you're doing still shots. Yeah, it's like perfect. I mean, that's definitely yeah. the hardest part of a pano is like you're getting vertical movement. Yes, exactly, exactly. And, and, you know, it also said, you know, on an airplane or something, you can just use it as a stand for you. True. Don't wind it up and just use it as a little stand for your uh, camera. Yeah, that is nice. It's pretty neat, isn't it? Yeah. 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 I kind of um, want one. Also, I'm, know. Like, I'm already thinking ahead to like Christmas. Like that's kind of like a cool. Oh, that's a stocking that's a stuffer. Great stocking stuffer. Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah, and um, Pulse. I, I, it might be five dollars shipping. I can't remember on Pulse, but still, in all, two yeah. bucks. Yeah. If you get the four one, you know. Yeah. I mean, even if even if you add the five dollars shipping, you get the four dollar one coming out to a little under five dollars. A thing? Yeah. And it comes in a nice, yeah. it's a very nice packaging, too. Yeah. So. It's cool. That was a good one. Before you give it, you say, have you ever heard of Pulse TV? And they say no. And he said, oh, I bought you this $15 gadget. <laughs> exactly. No. <laughs> oh. Well, they, that, they're just so ridiculously expensive. But I saw this and I thought of you. And I just thought, <laughs> I'm, you know what? I can take the hit. And I'll just get I've, this yeah. for yeah. you. Yeah. Let me see. Hold the hand out. Oh, that's a shaky hand. You're yeah. going to love my gift. <laughs> that's great. Um, all right. Okie dokie. Well, well, that brings us to a surprise because none of us know what's in store at Chad's Crappy Corner. You know you don't need it, but you might want it at Chad's Crappy Corner. Get it. Get it. Um, so I had the link up, but I, somehow I lost the link. So let me see if I can. Okay. No, I'm going to go find it again. So the con contest that the Patreons voted on was between 3D printed gadgets, summertime okay. gadgets, retro gaming gadgets, and gadgets that make a sound of some flavor. Sound making gadgets. Okay. And the results are in, and I hope they haven't changed since this morning. Sound making gadgets. Summertime gadgets. Oh, oh, some, oh that's very good. That's actually Sound good. making gadgets. Way down. Yeah, no, not so much. Wow, oh my gosh. So okay. it'll, it'll be summer officially in this month, right? I think I did my Yeah, math, June right? 21st or 20th In Texas, sometimes. it feels like it's already summer because, like, we're already in, like, 90 degree days, like, Feels oh. like summer's already hit. Um, oh, okay. So summertime gadgets, and this gadget is, I think it's pretty cool. So one of my favorite things is during the summer, I was part of Boy Scouts when I was younger, and so we'd go on some type of scouting trip. And some of my favorite trips were when we went white water rafting. Oh my and, gosh, that's yeah. dangerous, isn't it? It was, uh, you, it was serious. It was definitely, I mean, yeah, it's not... It's not 100% safe, but you'd wear a helmet, a life jacket. They'd walk you through okay. procedures and whatnot. Um, but one of my favorite in interesting things about those trips is the, it was the first time I ever saw, like, a waterproof bag. And I 
thought it was so cool how they worked and how you would, you know, it was a waterproof bag, you'd put your stuff into it and then you'd clamp it up and then roll it. And that rolling action is, gives enough of a seal that water won't get in. So when I was looking for a summertime gadget, I kind of, my eyes were kind of drifting over the waterproof bags because I just remember liking those a lot. And I found this, which is a small little portable waterproof bag. But on top of that, it has the added benefit of having a window for your phone. So oh, if nice. you're out and about doing things that where you don't want stuff to get wet, you can put all of, or a few of your things. This isn't, you know, the biggest bag, obviously, but you can put that into the bag, but you also have another area for your phone, which I specifically remember on some of these trips, people would have to go in and undo the entire bag just to get to their phone. And this is a very nice bag. And in fact, I, I'm pretty positive that this brand, um, Gecko Brands, is a pretty popular brand when it comes to these. So inside, you have your normal area for everything. So that's this little pocket. And you have a second pocket for your phone. And that even has another seal on it. So it has more of a Ziploc style seal. So I'm gonna close that. Not even sure why I'm doing that because it's not like anything's gonna happen. Um, but then your phone, and this is a iPhone 10 Pro Max. It's one of the larger phones. So it works just fine. And then you would put a few extra valuables. So you could throw your wallet in there. You could throw your AirPods in there. You could throw whatever else you had, sunglasses or whatever. And then this works just like a normal wet bag. So that is just slightly sealed. Then you roll it a few times and you use these little clips just to clip them in there. And these also have a little tension to make sure that that doesn't come undone. And now you have your phone accessible and all your other things also still stored away. And with the iPhone, it's kind of cool, you have face ID, so I don't even need to use my mm. fingerprint or anything to get into it. So it, the face ID works through the phone. There we go, so that's still working. And then of course, if you had a fingerprint phone, you just have to use your code. And as you can see, the touchscreen is working just fine with my phone. Um, it also has a strap. So it has sort of a shoulder strap. If you wanted that, has some areas to put it through a belt. So belt loop sort of situation. Wow. And I just really liked it. Another thing that I liked about this was if you love this design and you love this idea, when I was, I found this at Academy, they had larger versions of this as well. So if you're someone who likes this, but wants a bigger bag, you can also get a bigger bag with the same style phone access inside of it. And there's a whole bunch of different colors. This one's like this weird camo. Let's see, what is this one? This is different camo, blue, green, orange, pink, uh, ocean camouflage, which seems like the absolute worst idea. <laughs> if you were to lose your stuff in the ocean, seems like you wouldn't want it to be camouflaged like the ocean. Oh, that's very funny, right? Yeah. Wine. Highly reviewed and not too expensive, 25 bucks. I, got, I think I got mine for $20 at Academy um, instead of the $5 extra here on Amazon. But there you go. That is the Gecko brand waterproof phone tote is what they call it, the waterproof phone tote. And so far, I think it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, it's nice. Yeah. Also, it's yeah. like waterproof, so... Um, it even I, has a little handle on it, too. Up there. Yes, yeah. So that's yeah. actually... So the packaging came with just this sort of information board, and it kind of just attached the packaging with that handle. So yeah, oh, that okay. handle. Oh, yeah. okay, you also got the handle. Um, because it's so like, you know, waterproof, so you kind of want to make sure all the air gets pushed out too, because the air has a 
hard time escaping. I've, I can even feel that on the, uh, the phone area that my phone is um, right now. So there you go. Does it float? I think it would float if you put some air into it and then you know the density of it was less than the water. Um, but I don't, there's no, there's no floating attachment on it to make sure that it would, uh, it would float. Um, and let me see if there's anything that I missed on the, uh, it's not intended for submersion says on the, on, on here. Um, you can also still take pictures with the phone inside, although those would have to be selfies and that's, that's really the only thing. 25 bucks. Nice. Yeah. Very nice. With that, let's move on to Dick's Gadget Warehouse. They're geeky and they're goofy. Together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, he takes them out to play. In Dick's Gadget Warehouse. Come on. Come on. Uh, we have a... Uh, video from Brian Fields, first time contributor. The he says the attached link is for a bike light. I hope it makes it in time for Bike Safety Month. Well, that's okay, Brian. Every month is should be should be Bike uh, Safety Month. Uh, and here's Brian's video. Hello, Gizwood viewers. Brian here. As Dick has pointed out, May is Bicycle Safety Month. So I want to share with you something that I've purchased to make my bike rides a little safer. This is the x 100 by Infitnix bike light. It's designed to mount under your seat so it's visible from behind and the light comes with two modes. As you can see, it's USB rechargeable. There's two nice. modes. There's a manual mode, which basically is what it says. You turn it on and the light stays on. You turn it off and the light's off. There's also an automatic mode. In the automatic mode, the light will turn itself on when it sets its motion, such as when the bike's moving, and it also turns itself off when it's daylight so that you don't end up wasting your battery. There's a couple different modes with the light, and I'll show you that here in a moment. So as I mentioned, it's designed to mount under the seat, but on my bike, it mounts nicely here on the rack. That is the nice. light has a flashing mode, as well as a slow pulse mode. Oh, it's that's hard for me nice. to show you, but the light also has a motion sensor. So it senses when the bike slows down and turns the light on, just like the brake lights in your car. What? I got this for $25 on Amazon. If you look what? around, you'll find it for a lot less on places like Alibaba Express, eBay. However, I wouldn't suggest ordering from one of those locations. Most of those are listed as unbranded, which means you're probably just going to get the light in an envelope without any retail packaging. Also, that low price might just be for the mounting bracket. I hope you enjoyed my video. Thanks for watching. That's great, great. That, yeah, like everything. The gadget's yeah. great. The price is great. The the features of the gadget is great. And the price, yeah, twenty five bucks, Brian, yeah. uh, Brian B R Y A, and Brian, thank you for that. Uh, assuming you live in the U S, you'll get a Mad Magazine and an Alfred E Newman photo. So send me your address. And uh, we have uh, a few more videos in house, but we we'll always want more. And there should be a, a, a gadget in your video, okay? Any kind of a gadget, old gadget, new gadget. And uh, make a, vid a video, two to three minutes. Put it up on YouTube. You can click on listed. <laughs> Actually, now you have to go through like nine menus to uh, upload <laughs> yes, a video. like six uh, pages of videos. <laughs> yes, exactly. Do you want to make money with this video? Is this video <laughs> for a child? Everyone is a different page. Can't, yes. can't they just put five things in a row i know um yeah, yeah. so it, click what on type listed. of content is this explain it does it have this 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 yeah uh but if you're just putting it up on listed don't worry but you can get get that done really fast uh they'll give you a url and only people with the url will, will be able to see your video and send us that url don't put it as private then only you can see it uh, the video uh, URL goes to mail at gizwiz.tv. Mail at gizwiz.tv. Uh, any kind of a gadget, one to three minutes. Horizontal, and make sure we can hear you and see the gadget. Uh, Perfect. With that, it. let's move on to the letter. Now. 
Our most fre- uh, most frequent contributor, Mo. I like the subject line, and when you see the video, you'll realize why the subject line is this. No, please, no. Guys, can this be the new norm? Say it isn't so. And here's the video. Kidoki. Uh, <laughs> is that the, is most, even, gr- okay. the most gross? So for those of you who are listening on audio, it's, it's a fellow who has one of the surgical masks on. It's like, you know, the things you'd have to wear if you're out in public because of the virus. And then it has a, a mouth on it that with the use of what looks like some type of air actuator, it will open, and then this fellow who's wearing the mask is eating. It looks like a weird Muppet-like contraption. There's no yes. way this oh, it keeps anyone safe, also, it feels oh, like. Oh, not like, at all, no. See, the food you, is the bumping up against... It's gonna be filthy. <laughs> it's, it's just got, it's so gross. Oh my gosh. This oh, reminds yeah. me of an actual, uh, there's a, um, a puppeteer that I've seen do an act with this type of thing. Oh, how funny. He puts, you know, a puppet contraption yes, on yes. someone. Uh, uh, yeah, that's, that's weird. That's no. Really? Yeah. And, uh, there, there's an interview and the guy says, it's manual, but they're working on an automatic version that can sense the food coming. Are you kidding me? Uh, you could just, yeah, not work on that version. Yeah, yeah. no. No, you're right. It's just going gonna, gonna to be filthy after one. Totally. Totally. Yeah. And, and then you'll have to open, hang a, yeah. it's like, yeah. it's not doing anything. And then you'll have to, you have to hang a, a, a napkin on it <laughs> so you don't drool on your mask. No. You'll need a mask for your mask. The, exactly. The problem. Exactly. Mo, with, we're with you. We hope that this never yes. takes off. That's if it too far. if it takes off, we ain't buying it, and we're not investing in it. <laughs> Tomorrow, we're gonna or next week, we'll see it on Kickstarter with a million dollars <laughs> funded, yes. and we'll feel real yes. dumb. I know. I know. For sure. Uh, Okie dokie. Well, uh, thanks for the letter, Mo. Also, thank you to our patrons over at patreon.com slash gizwiz. You guys rock. You guys are awesome. Thank you so, so, so much for your fantastic contributions to the show. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, You guys directly support the show. That is incredible. And seriously, thank you so much. For those of you who are not patrons, if you like the gizwiz and want to give back, please consider giving back over at patreon.com slash gizwiz. That is where you can support the show. This is our Patreon page. It's very humble and very nice, just like us. So uh, (laughs) uh, just give just a little bit. We'd love that. It'd be fantastic. If Patreon's not your deal and you want to give via PayPal, you can head on over to our website, gizwiz.tv. Click on the Patreon tab, and there will be a link for a PayPal donation if you want to do that instead. Speaking of gizwiz.tv, that's where you can watch the show live just about every Thursday. I should really probably just say every Thursday at this point, because I don't (laughs) see that schedule changing. You can also join the chat room, but if you don't catch us live, don't worry, you can catch it after the fact on our website or on iTunes with an RSS feed, on YouTube, however you want to watch. We appreciate it. Also, you can head on over to gizwiz.biz, and that's Dickie D's website. That's where he writes fantastic articles about every single gadget that we cover on the show. If you want a mobile version of that site, head on over to gizwiz.me, M-E, you can think of M for mobile, sort of. Uh, click on what the heck is it and play what the heck is it? We talk about it all the time. We love to parry it. We love to do our own quick versions of this, but this is the game that you can join by trying to guess what that gadget is. That is the entire gadget, not just a piece of it or a part of it. That is all of it. Um, And this is uh, obvious to me that this is a uh, more, uh, I'm going to say like cynical, like not so great. Uh, You know, for those 
kids who want to burn ants with magnifying glass, this is the perfect distance to burn some ants, so you don't have to mess around with getting the distance just right. If you think you know what this is, get a guessin' over at gizwiz.biz. Six mad magazines for correct answers, 12 mad magazines for funny, clever, hilarious, and interesting answers. Mine wasn't very funny. Mine was just kind of mean and scary. <laughs> we don't we don't condone that. <laughs> no, no. That get more creative than I did. Get a guessin' over at gizwiz.biz. Uh, that about wraps up for our show. Thanks so much for watching. See you next week. I'll be here. <laughs> <laughs>